This short video will show you how we can connect expressions to area and perimeter. So we've been given some information um, about a rectangle and we've been told that uh, one pair of sides are equal to x, one side is equal to 4x plus 1, the other side that's the same is 2x plus 12. So we could form an equation here because those two lengths if they're in a rectangle must be the same and it must be true that 4x plus 1 equals 2x plus 12. Um, equally we can form a formula for our perimeter. A perimeter is the distance all the way around the shape. So if we take our lengths as x's, we've got x plus 4x plus 1 plus another x plus 2x plus 12. So we can make that simpler by counting up all the x's. So we've got 1 and 4 is 5, 6, 7, 8. We've got 8x all together, and we've got 1 and 12 plus 13. We could get the exact value of the perimeter if we knew the value of x. And we can find the value of x because we have an equation here that connects 4x plus 1 to 2x plus 12. I'll write that down here, and we will work with that. So if I take 2x away from both sides, and again, if you've watched the video on equations, you should understand what I'm doing. If I take the 1 away from both sides, then I'll have 2x equals 11. So I'll just quickly put the intermediate step in there. It equals 12 minus. Just in case you didn't understand, that's what I've done before I've moved to this. So 2x equals 11, so x will equal 11 divided by 2 equals 5.5. .5. Now the perimeter, so a bit more algebra here, the perimeter is 8 lots of x plus 13. So this then will be 8 times 5.5 plus 13. Now a way of doing 8 times 5.5 is to double, is to half the 4 and double the 5.5. Okay, that's, that's 4 times 11 plus 13. 44 and 13 gives us an answer of Another way of doing um, 8 times 5.5 is to do 55 times 8, 5 eighths of 40, 5 eighths of 40, another 4, and then make sure you bring the point in because it was 5.5 times 8, and again it gives you that same answer there of 44, and so it's 44 and 13, giving you a total, total perimeter of 57. Okay, so the important thing here is to use known facts. These side lengths must be the same if they're in a rectangle. If they weren't, it wouldn't be a rectangle. 